What's up there good people? So I wanted to do this video, uh, one reason I want to do this video is because I really want to show you guys what you can do with a 203k loan, all right? Um, so I am here at 28 Parkview Street here in Meriden, Connecticut, all right? This property is currently on the market for $175,000, all right? So, um, so if you were to purchase this property using a 203k loan, I just want to kind of walk through the property and give you a good idea as to uh, just some things that you can do and so on and so forth. So whether you want to buy this property or you want to buy another property or whatever, this video will definitely be a, a good tool to use to kind of give you some some ideas of you know different things that you can do. So 203k loan is um, it's an FHA loan, but they but, but this particular type of loan they allow you to. Um, to you to put three and a half percent down and your after that your purchase your purchase amount and your renovation costs are all wrapped into the same loan all right i'm not sure if i really explained that greatly but um but basically you can you can borrow the, the money to purchase the property and borrow the money to uh to renovate the property all in one loan i think that was a little bit better all right so um yeah but now a, a great thing to know about the 203k is that you could actually purchase the property make the renovations up to 110% of the uh, the appraised price, all right? So what does that mean? Let's use this one for example. This property is currently on the market for $175,000. Um, this property, uh, after re the repairs are done, would probably appraise for about $220,000, $225,000 in today's market, all right? But like I said, right now it's on the market for $175,000 because it needs some work, okay? So again, if it was um, in perfect condition, it could probably sell for about 220, 225 or so. But we're gonna use 220, all right? I like to be conservative in my numbers, all right? So we'll use 220, all right? So that's 100% right there of the after repair value or the appraised value of, of the property after the, the repairs are, are done. So now, like I said, FHA 203K would allow you to, uh, to, to finance up to uh, 110%. So that brings you up to uh, $242,000. Now, they allow that. I'm not saying I always recommend it, but I just want to let you know the possibilities, things that you can do. All right. So uh, to, if you was to purchase this property at $175,000, um, you actually have like $67,000 to play with roughly around there um, to do your renovations. Okay. Um, so I want to, uh, to walk around this property with you and, um, and you could actually just kind of imagine if you were buying this home, what would you do? You have $67,000 to play with. All right. So, uh, let's walk around this property and that's, that's what we'll talk about. All right. So we're going to start on the outside. So this is the front of the house. You see the roof here. It doesn't look like it's in bad condition. Um, the yard, eh, you know, depending on your taste, you know, could definitely use some work, um, in the yard, nothing crazy. I've definitely seen a whole lot worse, right? But um, I wanna show you also the neighborhood so you see what you're working with here. Um, and then we'll walk around the back of the house and then we'll walk inside of the house, all right? So, driveway, if you wanted to, uh, to get the driveway done, you can do that and you can finance that with your two or three K loan, all right? Um, let's see here, we're just gonna kinda walk around show you the property I don't want to just keep rambling on talking about nothing I also don't want to fall on this ice but here's the back of the property here you see that um, some moss there not a big deal it's probably from trees right there but um one thing I notice is that uh, there's this nice patio here but there's no way to get out there's no, uh, there's no door. So with that said, if you found a good spot, you can add a, a, uh, an egress entrance, ingress, egress door back here. And uh, you can finance that with a 203K loan. All right, so let's take a, take a look on the inside. And if you see something that, you know, you're like, you know what, I would definitely change this or change that, that may be able to be finance through a two or three K loan as well. All right, so here's the inside. You got your living room here. These floors definitely can use some sprucing up. And remember, 
you've got $67,000 to play with, all right, um, maximum. So, you know, you don't necessarily have to use the whole $67,000, but I'm letting you know that that's pretty much what you would have to work with in this particular property. All right, so if you wanna totally redo this kitchen, you can do that. That's not gonna be $67,000, right? So you can totally redo the kitchen. See, uh, somebody got mad there. You can fix that. It's the bathroom. So you want to um, totally gut this bathroom and you know make your renovations. You can do that. See some issues there. So on. Painting, um, the 203K, that, that it could take care of that there. You want to, uh, hire, uh oh, <laughs> it could fix that. I almost fell on my face. I can figure out how to put it back. Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna set that there. Interesting. I'll fix that later. All right. Moving on. So yeah, I was saying, um, you know, if you want to paint, hire a painter. FHA 203K would finance that as well. If you want to get rid of these ceiling fans, maybe put some um, recessed lighting in here. You can do that. Like I said, these floors, you can definitely use some sprucing up. What we got here? All right, we've got some uh, issues here. And the thing is also, um, FHA, just a regular uh, FHA loan, not 203K, they're gonna have an issue with uh, some of the things in this property as well. So um, that may also be a good reason to go with the 203K. Again, same thing in here. If you wanna get rid of these ceiling fans and put some recessed lighting or you know something else that's nice, you can do that. If you want to uh, maybe get rid of this window here, maybe put a, um, a door there so that you can get out and go to the backyard, maybe leading to that patio. That's an idea. You can do that as well. All right, there's no lights down here. So we're gonna use the flashlight. All right. Hope you can see okay. Got a sump pump here. Got some water down there. So um, if you want to get that fixed, that would be covered as well. This hot water heater actually looks fairly, uh, some issues going on there, but if you needed to replace that, you can do that with a 203K as well. This furnace actually, I mean, not that you can really tell if the furnace is working from the outside, but it actually doesn't look like it's in bad shape. It's oil. It doesn't look bad, but if that was, um, if the furnace was not working, you can cover, that could be covered through a 203K. Again, you got, with this particular property, you've got about $67,000 to work with, right? So, I just want to give you guys some ideas. Um, this basement actually looks pretty good. The walls look good. That's, in the, that's one thing, just as a, as a bonus. Um, when you're walking through these properties, it's a good idea to look at the walls. Um, see what kind of condition that they're in. You can tell a lot about the foundation of the property by looking at the walls in the basement. All right, if you see any cracks down here, then, um, you know, you definitely wanna get that, uh, that taken care of. And yes, you can get that taken care of with a 203K loan. All right, so that's pretty much it. I hope that helps out. Hope you learned something. If so, just give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up on the video. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps me out with the algorithms. All right. That's all I got for you. Make it a great day.